gladly chosen, keeping them woke in, doing a little bit exposing and shining light. So subscribe and like to the channel if you haven't already. So I'm doing this video today on uh, when you come to that realization that you would rather be peaceful versus, uh, you know what I'm saying, you would rather be lonely than be unpeaceful. That's what I mean to say. And, um, you know, I noticed that sometimes we could be around people and we're always trying to please people and, uh, you know what I'm saying, helping people out or just having a close relationship with people. But a lot of times that turns into, uh, in my situation, a lack of peace then it's been times in my life where, you know, I felt lonely. But I noticed by me being lonely, I was able to concentrate on the things that I needed to do. And the people that I did come across, when I think back at it, I would be like, well, it was better off when I was by myself. Because misery loves company. But I had to learn the hard way. And um, I would rather be lonely any day than unpeaceful so um right now i'm in a process of just you know working things out like i need to be doing and i understand that uh sometimes god puts on puts us in a place that we need to be so we can concentrate on him and the things that he wants us to do so i'm gonna go back to you know uh, just concentrating more on, on my kids and myself and, you know what I'm saying, not being too wrapped up in other people and what they have going on. You know, with my kids, I can never be lonely. You know, with God, I can never be lonely. See, the enemy, which is the devil, he'll make you think, well, uh, I, I need so, a companion. I need somebody to talk to. Yeah, we do need somebody to talk to. But we got to suck it up and realize that we can't always, you know, have somebody there to drop up a dime. It's good. But because they have a life, too, you know, they're not going to always be there. So, you know what I'm saying? Maybe God has you in the spot that he has you in. You know, the lonely spot that he has you in for a reason. And he he, drives, he, he uh, draws near the brokenhearted. You know what I'm saying? If, you're, if you feel brokenhearted because of you being lonely, then, you know, God is with you. And I would also like to say, you know, that uh, we got to just keep grinding. We got to keep grinding no matter what. And, you know, we got to focus on what we need to focus on before we need to be worried about even trying to have any company. But I'm going to let y'all go. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for viewing.